Published 1651 EDT, 29 September 2017 Updated 1651 EDT, 29 September 2017 Military defense giant Kinetic pulled itself out of no man's land yesterday, confirming that it is still trading in line with expectations despite shares being shelled after this year's snap general election. Kinetic has fallen by nearly 20% since the Tories lost their majority in June's election and issued an update in July warning that the result had led to near-term uncertainty for its order numbers. It has been particularly hit by the increased scrutiny of all Ministry of Defense contracts and is trying to reduce its reliance on the government body. But yesterday, it saw 76.5 pound million added to its value after reiterating that trading since July has been in line with expectations and left its overall performance for the financial year unchanged. Recovery Kinetic saw £76.5 million added to its value yesterday, after reiterating that trading since July has been in line with expectations it expects to see full-year revenue growth across its global products division in European, Middle Eastern, and African services arm, albeit at a modest rate. The company runs services like virtual reality training for the military, stealth training for the Royal Navy, and missile test ranges and test pilot training schools for the Ministry of Defense. In the current quarter it has secured an additional pounds 8 million order from the MOD to provide it with naval combat systems expertise, and a pounds 25 million order from Boeing to deliver wind tunnel testing for their commercial aircraft. It is also one key contracts in the US and Australia. Shares rose 5.8%, or 13.5p, to 246.9p. The FTSE 100 finished the week on a high note, rising 0.7%, or 49.9, to 7,372.8. Firestone Diamond sank, after warning of problems at one of its mines and difficulties in the diamond market. It said it has struggled to find large, high-quality diamonds at its Likabung mine in Lesotho, South Africa. The firm said the global diamond market had also been hit by a combination of oversupply and India's demonetization program. Despite this, it sold diamonds worth pounds 10 million at a recent diamond sale in Antwerp. Shares fell 31%, or 8.8p, to 19.5p. It benefited as the pound sank to a Vanui Klo after data revealed that the British economy saw its weakest annual growth since 2013 in the second quarter of the year. Broadcaster ITV rose after being upgraded by a key broker, and it wasn't Librem for once. Barclays upgraded the broadcaster to overweight and increased its target price to 200p from 190p. It said improving advertising trends mean ITV should deliver third quarter advertising revenue at the top of its guidance. After years of ad revenues declining across the board, some media buyers even predicted that money will flow back into television advertising from digital marketing, as younger viewers tune in to hit shows like ITV's Love Island. ITV's shares rose 3.6%, or 6p, to 174.7p, further paving the way to a safe landing for EasyJet boss Carolyn McCall when she joins the company as its new chief executive early next year. Science investor Sincona trailed Kinetic after one of its portfolio companies listed in the U.S. Nightstar, a leading clinical stage genotherapy company focused on treatments for patients with rare inherited eye diseases, rose 70% on its first day on the NASDAQ index. With Sincona holding a 43% stake in Nightstar, the success fed through and shares rose 6%, or 10.7p, to an all-time high of 189p reads Donna Connect which provides technology for smart buildings, fell 2% after it denied that it had been approached by tech firm AP Systems with a bid offer. This came despite AP Systems telling markets on Thursday that it was mulling a possible share and cash offer for Redstone. Shares fell 1.8%, or 25p, to 139p markets largely shrugged off green investment company John Lane Group's decision to invest pounds 63 million in a Texas wind farm. As a result of the purchase, its third in the U.S. renewable energy sector, John Lang's investment commitments now stand at pounds 222 million, exceeding guidance of around pounds 200 million for the full year. Shares rose 0.6%, or 1.6p, to 285.2p, 